today we're going to go over a smart tag and how the operation with smart tag. First of all, this is smart tag. The smart tag, it reads RPM for your car. So right now we need to see the communication. First thing we need to check is it's going to communicate with the software. So before that, you shut up the software first. And now you're going to go back here. You have a communication cable here. You follow this wire all the way down to the bottom of this computer. You will see the newer one, you will have this, USB to serial. The older computer, you won't have one because you'll have it right on the, the board itself. So right now you don't have it, so you put it on there. You're going to go to start. Right click onto your my computer, go to properties. And you go to device manager. And you're going to drop down COM port and you see what COM port that is. After you see it, you're going to exit out of there. You're going to open up your software. Double click on this space shuttle right here. This is your software. And you say yes, let it in. And then first thing you need to do is go to calibration, dyno parameters. If you're using a smart tag to make sure you don't want to change anything on all these parameters, all you need to worry about is this input of your RPM source. So on in TS1 or inductive, they're both 0 to 5 volts analog. So you put analog there and you hit OK. After that, now you have to get the configuration which one you want to use. First one you want to download an inductive which is for your spark plug wire. We're going to go through that first. So we'll download CL flash of 15,000 RPM. It took the uh, information from the computer and downloaded the smart tag so you can use the inductive. After that you're going to get your clamp here. This clamp here will tell you which size go to the spark plug wire. So if it does, you just go here, make sure you isolate this cable all by itself. You don't want it to interfere with anything else. So you want to isolate it, put it on your windshield wiper to keep it away from your header. Some of the cars will melt this thing. So right there, now you're going to put it in the car. Then you go back here, you're going to go smart tax it up, download inductive. When you flash, say it took the communication again. So you're going to start the car to so make sure it stays at 3000. So now you start the car up. So as you can tell, most of the car is not going to be that easy to hold at 3,000. Especially if you have MSD. If you have MSD, you're going to go to calibration, smart tax setup, you're going to go down here to more size strike enable. Click on the hair, you're going to say yes. Just turn that on. It cut off your MSD pulses. After you do that, and you're going to rev the car to 3,000 RPM. If it holds steady, you're fine. If it starts fluxing around from 7 to 8,000 or go back and forth, you need to go to calibration, smart tax setup. You need to go to set threshold voltage. Factory defaults, 1.76. The range for it is 0 to 5. You can put anything from 0 to 5 in there. But this first two number I want you to try, you're going to go to the low side of that, 0.95. After you put 0.95 in there, like 0.95, you're going to hit OK. And then you're going to rev the car. If it drop all the way off, you're in the wrong side. So you're in the low side. So you have to go to the other side. So you go to Smart Tax Setup Threshold Voltage, and you're going to go to 2.15. And if it's 2.5 works, you rev it a little bit more, change that number a little bit more till you get it to it holds steady at 3,000 RPM and it matches. Let's just say it matches at 3,000. The car matched 3,000 stationary and this stay at 6,000, but it's not matching, but it stays stationary. You need to cut the pulses. So you go to calibration, smart tax setup, TS pulse revolution is right there. Click onto there. Every time you double this number, It'll cut it in half. When you cut the number in half, it double it. So you just have to find out which one is work for your car. That is for your inductive. So if you're doing a TS1, you're going to take the cable out, and you're going to put this clamp onto this here. You cannot have both, so you need to take one source off. So you take that source off, put this source on here. When you do that, you're ready to use TS1. So TS1 is pretty simple. TS1, you go to calibration. It's a smart tag. You want to set it up for TS1 for coil over. You don't want to use your t coil over clamp on a spark plug wire. It will melt that at uh, $1,100. So make sure 
your high voltage inductive low voltage TS1. You download TS1, it'll take a configuration, download it there. All you got to do is just take the boot off the coil over. There's three, two to four wires. You want to get the negative side, the negative signal, like a pink wire, a brown wire, a green wire, and a white wire. That's your signal. You have to find out which one. There's only four. You can't have both in there. It'll cancel each other out. So just get the right one. After you get the right one, your car is reading 900. If this is reading 190, all you got to do is come down here and cut the pulses. Every time you cut that pulse, it'll get the, the correct one. Just get the correct one and you're set to go. So that's three things you have to remember. Download inductive, rev to 3,000 RPM, if it drops off, you go to threshold. If it holds stationary, but it doesn't match, you're gonna cut the pulses till it matches it. That's it. And the other one is TS1. TS1, when you, you don't have to rev the car or anything. All you gotta do is download TS1. And if it matches idle, you go here to make it match at idle, and that's all you gotta do with the whole inductive system. I hope that helped.